Oh, all right. Excuse me, would y'all enjoy some music for your lunch? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all keep it up, she's trying to tell me something. Right? You just huh? sound so fabulous. Why don't y'all go play like outside? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> Keep it down. Huh? Shh, keep it down. Go f yourself. <laughs> One, two, three, four. From New Orleans, it's the Jamie Kennedy Experiment, starring Jamie Kennedy. Tonight, look out for that gator. Oh, my God, he fell off. Hey, hey. <laughs> Does anyone here speak English? Y'all drink. Excuse me? Calm that order down. You do not know how to talk no English. <laughs> we ride along with New Orleans' finest. They're about to call now. We would just put something in your truck to make it look like you had something illegal. Be careful when you play with this doll. Let's try the doll. The amazing Caswell tells it like it is. Caswell sees a crazy woman on a beach. <laughs> and waiter, there's a gator in my soup. Oh, so get ready for some spicy Cajun entertainment from the Big Easy, New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the mayor of Bourbon Street, Jamie Kennedy! Jamie Kennedy Experiments Mardi Gras Show from New Orleans! Oh. Yeah. All right, you guys. What's the first thing you think of when you're in New Orleans? No. No! Alligators! Alligators, that's right! Now, we all know that alligators are vicious, man-eating beasts that lurk in the swamp. So we took a bunch of innocent people on a swamp tour. Now, everybody on the boat is in on it, except for these three people, Kylie, Lenny, and Ann. And they think they're going out for a nice day of gator watching. The experiment, after my tour, Will they have a newfound respect for these lovely little creatures? All right, y'all, follow me. Just climb on the boat there. Last one on is a rotten gale. Come in here, sir. Y'all don't have any warmer clothes than that, sir? Careful there, ladies. Gators love the sweet lady meat. I'm going to a couple things y'all got to know. Rule number one, keep your hands down in the boat. Rule number two, no swimming with the gators. Had a guy last year take a swim, came out missing his dip stick. All right, sir, let's go. Yeah. 
you that this is not a license and register tour boat. And we have been sued over 23 times for negligence. Thank you. A couple of years back there, the Skeeters got so bad out here that they could suck a man dry in under two minutes. Of course, when she was in a prime, you could say the same damn thing about my wife. <laughs> Another little known fact about the swamp is that penicillin was discovered here. I discovered it myself after a weekend with a girl named Shirley. <laughs> Any of y'all that gotta go out and use the swamp potty, go right ahead. Just watch where you squat. Oh, the butt cheeks look a lot like a pregnant possum to a gator. I actually lost my virginity out here in this swamp. I was 32 years old. Oh, thank heavens for penicillin. Sir, you Now here's how we get the gators to come up and say hello. Hit the side of the See if we can wake them up. Wait, wait, wait. You gonna hit the side of the Come on, Gator. Come on. Call the alligator one up. Yeah, come on, Gator. Yeah, exactly. Last time I was there. You see one? Yeah, bro. There's right there. What, right there? Hell no, that's a river rat. And just so you know, they don't taste like chicken. They taste like a river rat. You can fry them up in the Colonel's secret recipe, but they still gonna taste finger licking off. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to another place about 15 minutes from here. Shoot, man, by the time I get there, I'll be a choco sickle, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, see and start the motor. Hey, we gonna tell that rope, sir? Yeah, all right. Bro. It's like the slave Everybody ship. Everybody put your headphones on. <laughs> now, keep in mind, this guy is our stuntman. Everybody put your headphones on and put your hands in the boat, please. We're gonna go out here. We're gonna see all sorts of gators. We're gonna see egrets. We're gonna see all kinds of wild animals here. We're gonna have 15 minutes up river. That's what we're gonna see the gators. We're gonna see more river rats. We're gonna see Mexican tail flying back. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> All right, so we're going up river here. You know, it's just a wonderful. Now, now, what's all this ruckus about back here? Your boy fell off. Turn around. fell out. Turn around. Turn around. Let's go. Everyone, please remain calm. I am a professional. Are you all, are you all right down there? Sir, I distinctly said don't go swimming with the gators. <laughs> Hell, this ain't Sea World. Are you okay? <laughs> Hang on a minute. What happened here? Alligator. Alligator? Oh my God. You got knocked here, me off. Please put a blanket you got, got me off. Alligator. Come on in here. Come in here. Right 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 what did you say? Are you going to be all right? Man, I'm talking to my attorney. That's all right. You're talking to your attorney? Right. Why? I'm gonna sue you, I'm gonna sue him, I'm gonna own this boat. You can't sue me in the belly of an alligator. Come on, let's... Come on, alligator. Come on, get out of here. Come on, come on, alligator. Get on, get out of here. Hey, don't stop you, Get Don't stop you, What? He's gonna sue me, I can't yeah. get sued. Come on, alligator. Hey, come on, gator. Come on, gator. What the f are the you boat? doing? <laughs> you know what? That you guys have been exed. Exed? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> You're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie I gotta ask you guys, 
How close were you to pushing me into the water? I was pretty close to breaking your face, I think so. Well, that would be bad for me, but good TV. And we'll be right back, right after this. Thank you. Yeah. It's not chicken, it's chicken. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna leave. Caswell sees Amanda will betray Amanda. Yeah. Thank you. You know, when I first got here, I went out and had a real Cajun dinner. It was amazing. The waiter, I couldn't understand a word he said. And neither will this woman, Tracy, when she eats at my restaurant. So we got Tracy's husband, Shakib, to help us set her up. The experiment? How will she react when she needs a translator just to order a glass of water? Did you see what you want? Good evening. Welcome here. Y'all all drink. The Creole gumbo? On the on that, in their order. What? On their order, there. What are you saying, baby? One Creole gumbo? Uh-huh. Ah. Baby. Do here, do here. Excuse there. me? Don't have <coughs> here or the Hessian. With a special there, not a special. Go. What we have here, red. Yeah. Do here, do here. La, sit down here. A what? A red snapper. There, there going there. Can Take you the, understand? Can you explain it to me what you mean? But... Yeah, all right here. The red snapper. Take the head here. Right from here. With tea there, medium wet. Maybe a red fish? On the there. Bonjour here. La Hania. La Hania? La Hania. What's La Hania? La Hania here. La Hania there. La Hania here. La Hania here. Take the good there. E R. No, I want the Creole. A la here, George read? Clooney. Can you read? Gumbo there. Yeah. Gumbo there. Gumbo there. Uh, uh, can we talk to somebody else? Manager? Oh, yeah. Roof is there. On there, Mark. But right back there. Right there. Did y'all hire that waiter? Qui ça? Le, le service? Il parle pas l'anglais. Qu'est-ce que vous avez dit? Dis-moi, ma belle. Can you send somebody to speak English? En seconde, oui. Oh, my God. I never come and eat here no more. <laughs> English? Bon <laughs> match, je peux dire. Bravo! Can I speak to a manager? A manager. Good, good, good. Anji, kitty, that one. Not a manager. Anji, Anji, manager, that one. Manager, that Tell him what I want. Creole combo, I want Creole combo, China. Creole. Creole gumbo. Good night. Creole gumbo? Jumbo. 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 Look. Look. Gumbo. Gum. Gum. Oh. I did not ask you to come over here. You do not know how to talk no English. Shaka here. Fresh. Shaka come. Shut up, bitch. How much did you pay for this reservation? Well, I do that. So, there, there. I want to leave. Creole gumbo? Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. 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 
Chicken? Chef. Chicken? Chef. It's not chicken, it's chicken. Oh. 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 I wanna go. Can I tell you here? Yeah. Did I tell you something here? I wanna go. Okay. Y'all been asked. Cause you're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, please help me welcome Tracy and Shaquib. All right, until we dot down here, why that would do? I gone pee. Caldwell sees Amanda with Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like the machine. <laughs> I think it's whacked. That's a toy. That's a toy. Yeah! Should, should we call someone? All right, we are back. Thank you. Now, in New Orleans, there is a lot of magic. And not all of it's good. Because in this next piece, I play a fortune teller machine. So I went for a three hour makeup job before I climbed into this box that we placed in the lobby of the hotel. <laughs> and presto, wow. I'm now Caswell, the all knowing. Hello friend, my name is Caswell. I can see your future. Well, not really. But with the help of this guy, Ben, It'll sure seem that way. He's already given us intimate details about his girlfriend Amanda and their relationship. Let's see how long it takes Caswell to freak her out. Hello, friend. I am Caswell. I can see your future. Caswell sees you taking a long trip. Well, that was vague enough, but now it's time to start freaking Amanda out. Apparently, one of Amanda's friends turned on her. Incidentally, her name was Amanda, too. Caswell sees Amanda will betray Amanda. <laughs> this next bit of info refers to a time when Amanda's mom caught her at the beach late one night with Ben and went a little nuts. Caswell sees a crazy woman on a beach. <laughs> she wears a nightgown and screams at you. And how will the great Caswell know that Amanda hooked up with Ben on a trip to Houston? Caswell sees Amanda with Ben. <laughs> in Houston. Oh my God. <laughs> Caswell will now reveal Amanda's change of heart for a cake. Caswell sees you learn to love cake. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! Right. The machine is like your power. Learn to love cake. I don't like the machine. I don't like the machine. I think it's whacked. But not whacked enough for Amanda to come back for one final prediction. I think she's about to be exed. Caswell sees an X in your future. Because you have been exed, you're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. There's the camera here. There's the camera there. There's the camera all over there.
10 15. Any pop, G. Get up against the door. All right. Anybody here believe in voodoo? Okay, well, on this next piece, I play Boozoo Chevalier, the owner of a voodoo shop. And I sell this voodoo doll named Wananga to this guy, Eric, who's helping us play a joke on his friend, Gene. The experiment, what will Gene do when the doll is used for evil? <laughs> now, to get ready for this next bit, I had to be in the makeup chair at 5.30 in the morning. Look how happy I look. I got our top-notch makeup department to transform me into a freaky proprietor of a seedy Bourbon Street Voodoo Emporium. This week's special, Voodoo Dolls. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hey, what's up? Now keep in mind, Eric has just one job. He's been told he has to leave the shop with the Voodoo Doll, Winanga. Can I help you guys? What about that voodoo doll? With the script? That one? Yeah. Uh, that's Wananga, bro. And what about Wananga? That's like super, like, buku magic, bro. Eric, no. It's like super buku, extra mojo, muy poco dinero, voodoo. Is it for sale? Yeah, it's for sale. Yeah? Yeah. Gee, I'm gonna get it. I really no. like it. No, it's calling me. Just be careful with it, you know. Wait, if we just like hold it, are we gonna get messed up? No. Eric, no. The instructions are on the front of how to deal with Wananga. Don't stray from them. Right. Just stay with the instructions, and you'll be cool. It's $14.99. If you touch it, it's totally fine. It's just a matter of like activating Wananga. Okay, so if I just. If I just ride in the cab with it, I'll be Yeah, no, it's cool. You can totally ride in the cab. Wananga has good spirits. It doesn't mess around with cabs. Yeah, it's, it's all so how you... I just, I'm not going to have, like, bad luck if I'm No. It. Okay, let's just remember. Stay with the instructions. Okay, we'll do. All right? Yeah, do you have a bag at all, or...? Well, Wananga doesn't like to be bagged up. But I, 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 she likes to breathe. Sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it back. Way to go. Part one of our gag is accomplished. Now I go back into the makeup chair because later the same night, Gene and Eric are gonna meet me, the rudest, most incompetent waiter ever. My goal? To see what Gene will do when Eric uses Wananga on me. Here they come now for an evening of Cajun cooking and buku voodoo. Keep it. Thank you. Thank you. You clean it up, I'll be back. That wasn't cool at all. That actually really pisses me off, though. Like, he was like, you can clean it up. He's being a jerk. He is. Let's try the doll. The doll. Let's go for the doll. No, Eric. Come on, this guy's being a jerk. It's, it'll be fun. No, Eric. For real. Like, I'm going. Please, Eric, for real. Eric, seriously, stop. It's a toy. It's a toy. Eric, I'm not. I'm leaving. I just swear to God, Eric. Jean. Eric, why do you have to do this now? Peace. Okay. For real, why do you have to do this now? Because it's Eric, for real. I'm really uncomfortable. Can you please not do that? I'm at least going to look at it, okay? Do you want to read it? Yeah. You don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm just having fun. Yeah, but what Jean. if it, like, really works? And what if it, what if it does? It'll be funny. It's not like, it's not like something funny if he like drops to the ground dead. He's not going to drop to the ground dead. Okay, well, just don't tell me what you're doing, okay? What did you say? When don't you... tell me what you're doing. Thank you. Who cares? <laughs> Look. I'm not, I'm not, I like it. You shouldn't do it for these people. Why? They're not going to see. Honey, honey, I'm, I'm doing that. Fuck. I'm... Stop, Eric. I'm gonna leave. I cannot do this with you. Sweetheart. Ah! Eric, I 
swear to God, I'm gonna call Academy. Probably thinking what we're thinking, that we went a little too far. But after about 10 minutes of begging, Eric got Gene to come back in for a little more voodoo fun. Oh, Gene, I'm sorry. I'm done. I, I really am done. I, it's right here. I'm waiting for it to cool down a little, and then I'll put it back in, okay? All right, please don't be mad. Well, I'm, I'm taking care of it. I'm gonna get rid of it, okay? Do you want me to get rid of it? Yes. I didn't do anything. I just, I just put it on there. No, I'll put it in. I'll put, I'll, put, I'll put it in. I'll put it in. I'll put it in. It's in. It's in. It's in. I can't see. I just put it in. I can't see. I'm tapping it. I can't see. I breathe. I can't see. I can't see. Should we call someone? I can't breathe. It's in the bag. It's in the bag, though. It's someone of a voodoo doll. Does someone have a voodoo doll? He does. He does. Get it out. Get it out. There you go. Better? Oh, why would you do that? Uh, I, I didn't mean to. Have you been sticking me? Uh, no. Has he been sticking me? I have not been participating. I haven't been watching. Watching what? <laughs> I haven't been participating in this at all. Has he been sticking me? I don't know. Eric, have you? <laughs> don't put it all on me. Why don't put it this, all This isn't my doll. Ah! <laughs> okay. Can I just tell you something? That you've been exed. You're on my hidden camera show. It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. <laughs> Please help me welcome Gene and Eric. Now, Gene, now that you know it's all fake, do you want to put a little pin in the doll? No, 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 no. I don't like those. Do you want me to stick you with a pin? No. Ooh, ooh. And we'll be back right after this. Ooh. Onaga! 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 While we're in the back of the car alone, he offered me sexual favors to let him go. The alligator soup. Oh my God. That look good there, don't it? Yeah. I'd rather have something else. <laughs> We've got a beautiful crowd here. I'm looking out over Bourbon Street. And let me ask you guys a question. Who here has ever been arrested? Oh. oh, my God. Well, in this piece, I play Officer Rand, a publicity star of New Orleans cop. This guy, Victor, is in on the joke. And he set up his buddy, Dwayne. Now, Victor told Dwayne that he's won a contest where he gets the use of a brand new Hummer for a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, this bitch is gigantuous. Is that word? This could fit. A lot of hoes could fit. Could fit out. Dwayne's having a great time. But what he doesn't know is we've already told Victor to drive down this road where my police car is waiting. <laughs> Now it's time to ruin Dwayne's party. Oh, 
Got pulled over. We got all kinds of crimes in Louisiana. We got drugs, we got crime. By hitting camera shows. <laughs> Now Dwayne sees that the officers who stopped him are being followed by a camera crew from one of those cop reality shows. You got any guns or weapons on you, sir? Just relax. We're going to tell you what this is all about in just a second, OK, dude? If I open the trunk, am I going to find anything I don't want to see? Now, of course, there's nothing there. So if this bust is ever going to get on TV, I'm going to need something a little more exciting. Here's what's going on. You know, we're being followed by a yeah. cop show, OK? And we haven't had any, like, arrest all week. <laughs> but if you get on this show as a cop, OK, your department gets more money, you get more exposure, things go up, profile goes up, helps us with the community. What we would do is we would just put something in your truck to make it look like you had something illegal. These guys would come over, we'd film it, and then after it was done, we, you would be free. We'd... <laughs> He's not going to jail or nothing. No, hell no, you're not going to jail. You can't do nothing. Yeah, you play along with us. It's like play acting. All right, maybe if you won't cry, cry. Okay. I'll get you 10 minutes, be on your way. All right, we'll be all right. They plant guns and I go. All right, guys, just sit tight. We'll be ready in just a minute, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Sir. Now we're going to give him enough firepower to put my face on TV. Go on. I'm going on. They want us to act. Act. Yeah. I'm telling you. Okay, it's beef. Outrageous. They get something good. Ready, guys? And action. Step out the car. Step out the car now. Y'all step up against the car, please? Sure. Get up against the car, please, right now. Spread your legs, please. You have any sharp optical weapons on you? Step back for me. Take a step back. You have anything that might poke me? Yes, anything that might lacerate my skin? <laughs> Nothing in there. OK, now we bring in my superior officer. Of course, he's in on the whole gag. But we ain't going to tell Dwayne that. Oh, that's Lieutenant Diggs. It's Lieutenant Diggs. What's he doing? All right, stay up against the car. All right. Stay cool with him. Uh, we got a possible 61A here. Y'all checked the vehicle yet? Uh, no, we have not checked the vehicle. OK, I'm going to check the vehicle out for you. Keep your hands on the car, man. Okay, be cool, be cool. Be cool. I don't know why he showed up. Okay, be cool, all right. My lieutenant showed up. Officer Diggs has found the guns. Now he's gonna play like the whole thing's real. Let's see if Dwayne can talk his way out of this. 1015, 95G. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta act tough. My lieutenant showed up. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. Be cool, Get in there! Perk! You all right? No. Why is he talking about I gotta look tough in front of my lieutenant? Like, dude, you just planting guns in my car, but they're not gonna listen to it. Still about the call for Okay, here. You wanna interview with him? I'll yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, uh, there. So, I'm gonna take care of him here. I'll take you. All right, here's what it is. The worst thing that happens, you spend a couple of weeks behind bars and you become somebody's for a while. He said that. That's what he's talking about. All I can do is deny it, right? Turn around for chance behind you back. Well, come out. Angola's full of people, I think. Uh, Dr. Gibson? Uh, you want me to tell Lieutenant Diggs what's really going on? You tell him? Yeah. While we, was in the, while we was in the back of the car alone, he offered me sexual favors <laughs> to let him go. Did you offer the polish on that stick? You did not. No, sir. Definitely didn't offer the polish. Polish your nightstick, is that what you said? <laughs> this is funny? No, it's not funny. 
You ever try to stick your hand down my crotch? <laughs> oh. No, so we're gonna start here. We're gonna 511, 1846, six or seven day, dash, nine, three, and then we got a code two here, nine, with the lights and charges over there. Works And a Velveeta charge. But what else we can do here? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you what that is? Yeah, well that's the charge right now. Is what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to X you. You know that you've been X'd? X'd? I've been X'd? X'd. You're on my hidden camera show. Oh, Go to oh, Jamie oh, Kennedy's oh, <laughs> Welcome, Dwayne and Officer Digger, yeah! All right, Dwayne, what was going through your head when I told the other officers that you offered me sexual favors to let you go? I was like, man, no way. Uh-uh, I can't believe you even said that. I couldn't believe you said it. I didn't know what to do. I was starting to freak out, man. Y'all had me going. I definitely, Y'all definitely had me going. All right, but I got, can I tell you something? You're under arrest. Now get out of here. <laughs> get out of here! Keep our streets clean, New Orleans. We'll be right back. Right after this. Coming up later on Real Cops New Orleans. <laughs> on the mean streets of New Orleans, when real criminals are doing real crime, there'll be real cops there to take them down. Really? Drop it now, honey. Ain't got nothing on me. I guess a lot of go walking in an alligator suit. <laughs> hey, watch the tail, man. Watch the tail. If it weren't for real cops, this guy would be walking the streets. If there was only one of you, you'd be dead. Instead, he'll be some con's gator girlfriend. That's the wrong gator. My head. Watch the tail. With a croc or crook, we gotta take him down. Let's go have some lunch. You wouldn't treat Barney like this, man! <laughs> Yo, oh, my my heart's like... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the mama! <laughs> Get back, you evil beast from hell! Get back to your hell hole, devil! In this next piece, we got this girl, Karen, to help us set up her friend, Laura. The experiment? Will Laura stick around for dessert when she finds out her meal has more bite than she expected? I mean, I don't know. Someone told me about it before. I heard it was good. It was really good. The white and they're pretty. They're very pretty. They're nice. They're nice. And the living room. Hello, ladies. Would you like to try the chef special tonight? Mm -hmm. What is Excuse it? me here. Hey, what is it? It's a six-course <laughs> tasters menu there. What we do is we give you a little taste of everything that I'm cooking out here tonight. Would you like to try that there? Sure. Little taster menu. All right, I'm we'll gonna start you off with some soup. Y'all like soup? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Right. Pepper. My specialty. Side on the home garden, my TV show, TV channel, and if I can take your wrist and just kind of. Y'all here? Thank you. First course here. You just kind of take your Special course here. It's alligator soup. Oh my god. I'm supposed to eat that a lot. That look, that look good there, don't it? There? No. Not at all. I'm not going to eat that. What you do is eat around the gator. And what they do here is that they provide all the flavor in there. That yeah. thing is alive. Yeah, he is. He's good or alive. You supposed to eat it while it's alive? No, you eat around the gator. He gonna give you a good luck. But if, if you do bite him, he should be able to bite you. That's the rule here. What else do you have? I'd rather have something else. <laughs> Y'all like hamburger? Is it dead? All right. Yeah. No, he ain't dead. Look here. No, I mean hamburger. Hamburger be dead there. All right. You do eat around the gator. It gives you a lot of love there. <laughs> I totally 
freak me out. I know. I'm sorry. I'm shaking. Like, y'all. Like, my heart's like. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> what did y'all do? What's going on? Well, here. Oh, it's a mama. It's a mama, baby. Come and get over there. It's the mother. Can I let y'all know something that you've been asked? You're on my hidden camera show called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment. You know right here. That camera right here. Right here, the camera right here. All right, so we did this bit a couple of times, and I just had to show you this other lady's reaction. You all try here, special soup here. There's the Louisiana alligator soup there. Soup. I'm sorry. I'm sorry here. You don't like this soup? I'm a very tasty, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm here, okay, well, here. Oh, down, down, down. Here's a mama gator. Can I just let you know something? You have been asked. Do you my hidden camera show? It's called the Jamie Kennedy Experiment here. You are. That's our show. Good night. How many of you guys have been arrested? Well, good night. Thank you.